You may have been using Twitter or what is now called X for communicating, posting, posting links to your website and brand building, and even connecting with uh, other people, prospective clients and experts in the industry, or maybe friends and family. But did you know that you could use Twitter as a lead generation tool as well? Yes. So I found a new product, tweetscraper.io. Now there have been similar products that help you scrape data from Twitter, be it contacts, uh, be it email addresses, or be it tweets. Uh, I like this product. This is not a sponsored video. I happen to really like this product. I reached out to the founder, Marco, and he was happy that I could share this with uh, my network. And hence, uh, what I'll do right now is I'm going to use tweetscraper.io for the first time ever. I've just signed up and I have just used it once uh, to scrape my own account, just about 10 accounts. But what I'll do is I will perform the scraping of accounts live for you right now on this video. So if you've signed up for tweetscraper.io or uh, as a free account, you get 10 credits. I requested Marco that I want to make a video so people could know about how this product works. Uh, so he's given me 100 free credits. So what Tweetscraper does is it lets you scrape followers of other accounts as well. So uh, popular accounts or your competitor's account. And you get email addresses of people who follow them or people who they follow. And you could then build your own target audience list for your email campaigns. So if you could see right now on the screen, let me just zoom it a bit. On the left side, if you see, you have uh, results. So this is the result of my first search I did a few uh, minutes ago. Then you have scrape followers, scrape following, scrape likes, scrape retweets. Uh, let's just pick up scrape followers for an example. Now how this would work is you could put any person's username to scrape their followers or accounts that they follow. Now I'm a business blogger and if I want to use this tool to get some email addresses for a target audience list from Twitter, I would use uh, accounts, Twitter accounts of popular business blogs. So uh, let's say now Mashable, Mashable India is uh, a good business blog that a lot of people follow. Uh, the content is good. So if I want to scrape their followers, what I will do is I would put in their Twitter handle. Mashable India is the Twitter handle. Now I could put some keywords to filter. For example, if I only want accounts of owner, founder, CEO, and you could add a few others as well. And uh, it gives me options of personal email or business email. As it says, personal email will scrape gmail.com, outlook.com, yahoo.com. But since I want founders, I want business emails. I'll click on business email. It says show advanced options. Let me check advanced options. Okay, so I could choose to follow accounts which have uh, at least some followers, so not very dominant accounts or accounts that uh, are very new, which may not be uh, good enough for my target audience. So let's say I'll put this as 100 maybe. And I don't want to follow two large accounts as well. So maybe I will say, okay, 5,000 followers is the upper limit. I don't want to have any negative keywords, but you could go ahead and add some negative keywords. And since I only have 100 credits, about 94 are left, I will put that, okay, uh, stop it once you find 50 emails. Uh, or let's say for this first demo, let's say 25 emails is the limit. And then I will click on scrape followers. Now it may take a little while, so let's see how long does it take. I may just fast forward it uh, to show you the results. So let's just give it a few seconds. And then uh, if it takes more than a few minutes, I'll fast forward it and I'll show you the okay, results. So now directly. it took about a couple of minutes, less than two minutes, and the results are ready. I haven't seen the results myself yet. So you could see my first search was there. My second search was Mashable India, 100% progress. Uh, it's found 85 users and it's found... 21 emails. So I had put a limit of 25. It stopped at 21 emails. If I wanted more, I could have used more credits. But since I only had 100 credits, I want to use them judicially if I have to do more demos for you. So 21, uh, what I need to do is go ahead and click on view. So I'll click on view. So here I have uh, the list ready. So I have the profile, the user handle. It says email none, first name, website. It gives me the profile bio. Uh, the location of the person, how many followers they have, how many they are following, and the number of tweets on their profile. 
And if I go down, it will have uh, emails, profiles with email addresses, which I wanted. So the option which I have right now is that I could export either all the accounts or I could only export emails. Now, since I'm building a target audience list and I want the email addresses, I will click on export only emails found. And this will export it to an Excel file. So a CSV file. So I'll click ahead on open file. This is the CSV file, which I got as an export. And this has all the profiles which had an email address associated. So you have the profile link, you have the user ID, uh, the screen name, the full name, the first name, uh, the email address, which I would not show you uh, on the live demo. Uh, you have the website. Uh, so here's the website. You know the website, their business website or other websites which they would have given. Uh, you have their first name. Uh, you have their full name, whichever they would have filled up in their uh, profile bio. This, this is their uh, Twitter username, uh, their location, uh, a brief bio, which they would have mentioned. And then you have followers, you have following, you have the number of tweets. So I could go ahead and I could use this email address to build a targeted a follower list, an audience list based on uh, the kind of profile, which, for example, in my case, Mashable India is a business blog. So anybody who follows Mashable India could be a target customer for me, a prospect for me. So once I have the email address, I could go ahead and I could send them uh, emails, direct emails. I could put them as a part of my email campaign, or I could just look at their profiles here uh, based on how active they are on Twitter, their location, and I could choose to follow them and send them a DM on Twitter directly. So tweetscraper.io and tools similar to this let you use Twitter or X as a lead generation tool, which you could use to build a target audience list for your own business. Uh, so I found it useful. Uh, there may be other such tools. If you know of any other such tool, uh, mention in the comments below. I would like to test that as well. And then maybe I could make another video where I could compare the features and tell you which one I prefer. But go ahead, uh, sign up with the free account. You will get 10 credits. Scrape your own account. Scrape your friend's account. Scrape any business account that you want to. And see if you would like to use this or any other similar software. If you have any questions for me, about the tool or about using similar tools, then go ahead, write in the comment section, or you could visit my website. The link is in the description and fill up the contact form and I shall reply to you at the earliest. So thank you for watching. Do subscribe for notifications for other videos and I'll see you in my next video. Till then, take care and be safe.